Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Another commonly asked question is, why is the Dajjal called Dajjal? And why is the Dajjal called Masih al-Dajjal? In today's video, we'll be looking at answers to these two questions. Let's first look at why the Dajjal is called Dajjal. The word Dajjal has several meanings. Hafiz ibn Dahiya says that ulama have gathered up to 10 different explanations of the word Dajjal. Dajjal basically means a liar, a very big liar that you could call Kathab. Similarly, Dajjal is the one who will hide truth with lies. And that's another meaning which goes for the word Dajjal as he will be doing what we call Dajjal. Similarly, he will be able to roam around the entire earth. So that's why the word Dajjal is also used for him. As in Arabic, we say Dajjal al-Rajulu. That means a man has roamed around the entire earth. Similarly, he will be called Dajjal as he will be the one that will shadow a very massive piece of land and will be able to get to places which will be inaccessible for a person to reach and will be able to carry his message to all of these places. Similarly, he is called Dajjal for many other reasons. For example, he is called Dajjal in the meaning of a terrorist. He will be terrorizing the world. Dajjal in the meaning of Mukhrikh or Mukharikh. That means a terrorist. And then on top of that, he would be a liar. Similarly, Dajjal is also used in the meaning of Mumawih, which means somebody who plots. Similarly, Dajjal has many other meanings. Some ulama, for example, Hafiz ibn Hajr in Fath al-Bari says that my Sheikh Majduddin al-Shirazi Firozabadi has given 50 different explanations on the meaning of the word Dajjal. Now comes the next question, why is he called Masih al-Dajjal? Now, some people to distinguish between Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, who is also called Masih, and Masih al-Dajjal, they have tried to give the, a little bit different word like Masih for Dajjal. Or they would have given the word Masih al as comes in one of the narration where Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam called Dajjal Masih al means a Masih or a Messiah who will misguide. On the contrary to that, some ulama have used the word for Isa alayhi salam as Masih al a Messiah that will guide you towards the right path. Imam Nawawi rahimahullah reports that several different narrators have used the word Messiah and have used a different word in place of Messiah as well, as gathered by uh, Imam Hajr Asqalani in Fath al-Bari, as well as Imam Nawawi in Sharh al-Sahih Muslim. So Messiah basically means, in this particular context, a leader, someone who is to be followed. So the Jal is a Messiah of Abdalala, means he is the Messiah or the leader of the misguided ones. On the contrary, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam is the Messiah of Al-Huda, means for those who want to be guided. And that's a clear distinction, and that's why he is also, the Jal is also called Messiah in the context of the leadership. And then another question, a follow-up question that comes in this context is why the Jal is not mentioned in the Quran. We will inshallah look at that particular question in our next sitting. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.